I'm so glad that Romancing Saga 3 has come to Vita. It was a big surprise to see this announced. And now that it's finally here, this is exactly what I was in the mood for. I have to say up front that I only got the review code a day and a half ago. So this video is my thoughts on the game so far, and I'll also tell you how it runs on the Vita specifically. So what's the game about? Every 300 years there's a devastating event where everyone born in that year dies, apart from one special child. The first time it happened, the child grew up to be evil and conquered the world. The second time, the child grew up to be the world's saviour. The third event happened around 20 years ago, and so now that special individual would be an adult, and will choose their path. The setup is intriguing. Presumably the chosen one will be one of my party members, but I don't know yet. At the start of the game, the group of four warriors meet the sister of the Marquis of Loan and are sent on a quest to help her reach her brother. At which point the four warriors join the Marquis's cause to help protect the people from the emerging evil forces. The story is interesting so far, and I like that each character has some personality. With some old school RPGs, the characters can feel a bit generic, but that's not the case here. You can choose one of eight characters to be your main player. When I started on my Vita, I chose Julian, but when I started on my PSTV to record this video, I chose Thomas. I didn't think it would make any difference, but I was pleasantly surprised that the dialogue changes, depending on who you choose. Not massively, but you get to learn more about the character you chose from their conversations. This has me super interested in potentially replaying the game, although that will depend on how long the game takes to beat. There is a New Game Plus option which also encourages replay. In terms of gameplay, it's very much an old school turn-based JRPG. If you played Romancing Saga 2, then you'll know what to expect. You have the usual attack, magical skill, and defend. As a character uses a particular weapon, their proficiency of using it goes up, and you can unlock new skills associated with that weapon. There isn't an experience bar or clear level up system as you have in most Final Fantasy games, so it did feel a bit random at times and unclear how I'm leveling up. But the game has been pretty generous so far at leveling up my weapons, giving new skills and increasing my stats. Similar to Romancing Saga 2, you have hit points to deplete as you get attacked by enemies. And when your HP falls to zero, you lose a life point. All your characters revive after a battle and health is restored. But if a character loses all their life points, then they're permanently dead. Battles have been manageable so far. Like I said, the game has been generous at leveling up my weapons, so my team is quite tough already. The graphics are great. The sprites are a bit small on the Vita screen, but other than that, I love the pixel art and the music really suits the game. It's a good thing I like the battle music, because I found I'm constantly getting into fights. There aren't random encounters like most Final Fantasy games. Enemies are on the screen and when you walk up to them you start the battle. It's hard to avoid them though, going down narrow paths. I would have liked the option to press start or something like that and repeat my previous commands, rather than pressing X constantly, or the option to speed up battles. But this is a remaster of an old game, so I forgive it for not having more modern mechanics that RPGs have introduced in recent years. This does feel like a step up though from Romancing Saga 2. The story for Romancing Saga 3 is more interesting, and the graphics and style are much more improved. From the foreboding vampire castle to the snowy mountain and the green forest, there already feels like more variety to the locations, and hopefully that'll continue through the game. So how does it run on Vita? Well, it runs perfectly. Load times are super short, and even when you save your game, it's instantaneous. It looks great on the Vita screen and the text is nice and big and easy to read. It also has cross-save if you're planning to buy the PS4 version. It doesn't work on PSTV though. There's a patch that you'll need to download of 260 meg when you get the game. It looks like a tough game to platinum as you need to see the ending for each character. I presume that means completing the game 8 times which is a big time commitment. I've recently had the itch to play an old school RPG and I was playing Final Fantasy 2 before this. So Romancing Saga 3 has come along at the perfect time for me, and I'm having a really good time with it. The story in particular has me intrigued to play more. If you like JRPGs, then based on what I've played so far, this is a definite recommend from me. The Vita isn't getting a lot of games these days, but this is a great reason to keep playing, and I really appreciate that Square Enix brought this to Vita. So guys, are you planning to pick up Romancing Saga 3? And if you have any questions, just let me know. Leave a comment below and as always, thanks for watching.